Hey guys, just gonna do a quick step-by-step uh, -step, uh, how to build the Matrice 600. Um, quick shout out, Mungle Gear um, in Australia, munglegear.com.au, please check them out. Gave me a great deal on this machine. Um, if you're gonna buy one of these, you know that it's gonna come in a box and you need to assemble it yourself. So it is a little bit tricky, but if you have some uh, familiarity with uh, drones and stuff and building them, then um, you shouldn't have a problem. First thing you gotta do is you've gotta put the arms on. They come assembled with the motors and propellers on already. But what you need to do is you need to put them in into the slot and then run a cable under here and plug the ESCs in. Um, at the, I'll take this cap off. All right, so you're gonna feed Get this. We'll use this one. Okay, so here's this this motor here. You got to feed the cable through. There's you've got this little uh, ring here that you got to feed it through. Come through. You got to fit the ESC plug in, which is this little white clip here. And then you've got your your positive and negative power for the power distribution board. Now, <clears throat> when these come in the packet. These leads here, they come with a bit of shrink wrap over the top of them. And it's it's pretty hard to rip this shrink wrap off. It's got like a little dotted line where you can tear it, but be very careful taking this off. Get a little Stanley knife and cut it very, very gently. And just make sure you don't slit any cables because if you're ripping away at that plastic, you're gonna, you're gonna rip off that little white Phoenix connector. And yeah, you don't want that. You don't want to stuff the ESC control up. So just be very careful of that. Okay, so do that with all do that with all of them. Now they are make sure the motors are on the right position. You've got um, you've got here on the propellers, I don't know if you can see that, CCW counterclockwise. And you've got here on the propeller clockwise. So you've got if you look if you're looking at it, if you're looking at the front of the drone, just remember if you're looking at the front to your left is always clockwise and then it changes everyone. There's no clockwise, clockwise. It's always clockwise, counterclockwise, and so on. So, mate, so get get all the arms on first, and then um, wire up the distribution board. Do all that. Then the next thing you've got is the legs that you got to put on the retractable legs. We'll go around this side. Now these are left and right. So the left one. Make sure you put make sure you put them on right. I, I put them on the other way around, and I had to take them off and put them back on again. The left one has these has these little controls here, these little plugs. Okay, just so just remember that the left one has these plugs here. So what you need to do is this this comes by itself, and then you've got to feed this rod through. So you've got to feed the rod through through the mount. Um, put the screws in. Put put this bar in and then you've got this little cable here that is attached to the spring and then to the legs. Uh, it's all it's pretty easy stuff, uh, put it, putting this stuff on. Um, <clears throat> you've got the little XT30 there and that's gonna connect to your to your legs for the power. Um, in the legs, you've got a little cable. I don't know if you can see that little, that little cable there. That's I'm pretty. That's the antenna. I'm pretty sure that for that's your light bridge. This this antenna. So when you take this bottom cover off, you'll see the ends for that, and they clip in pretty easily. You just push them, and it just goes clip. And yeah. Um, okay. So once you've got all that done, um, you're gonna have to take this top off, which you need three fingers to do. Put the GPS module in. And there's your A3. Um, attach the cable for the for the fan. You get a little fan there on the roof, which is there. And then you can get your your GPS module, which is up here. 
and then you can uh, you put it into CAN bus one. So just remember that, and then you got a bit of a bit of double sided tape there on the ground. Feed it through. Put it, you, you get bits of tape in the kit where you can tape up the the module there, and then that can go back on. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at now. Um, You've, you've got a, a HDMI cable here, it's full size HDMI, that's already integrated into the board. So that, that came cable tied up here and I've just snipped the cable ties and that's hanging. Good luck, if you've bought one of these machines, uh, good luck with it all. It is, you know, you can download the manuals but it's pretty simple to all put together. Um, Alright, well, Subscribe to the channel and I'll be doing some test flights and I'm going to be attaching the Ronin to this with flying a Sony FS5. So, um, yeah, subscribe and I'll be back later. So. Just also a few other things that I want to talk about this thing. Um, when you get it out of the box, uh, there is a few little things that you need to be aware of. Um, one, it doesn't come with a... It doesn't... It comes with a... Um, with a little cable but with the mini USB connector there but it doesn't come with an Apple one for your iPad so that, that, that doesn't come with the controller there um, also when you go to download the, the DJI System 2 um, app for if you run in Mac um, I don't think they've got that at the moment they've, they've only got exe files um, so you're gonna have to get some software to convert that uh, exe file into a DNG um, if, Unless you have a PC to, to run that on, which is pretty silly, I think, because you're using that, you're using iPads and everything, and it's all integrated with Apple. But um, yeah, the software for the A3 isn't. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing all that now. The machine's all powered up nicely. It's I've put it together all, all okay, I guess. <laughs> we'll see when I take a flight, and um, yeah, I'll get back to you soon. See. Ya.